Hello, this is Pete from Good Reset and today I'll show you how to install Android on your Windows 10 system. If you like this video, please subscribe, thumbs up and let me know in comments what you think. Ok, so let's start. What we are going to be using is VirtualBox. You can download this tool from virtualbox.org, I'll put a link in the description of that video. And Android installation file from SourceForge, I'll also put a link um, in the description. You need to go to files, choose release 5.1 and download ISO file. Once you have it, please install VirtualBox, the installation is pretty easy. Uh, just hit download and choose installation ready for your system. Installation is pretty straightforward, so I won't be covering that in this video. Essentially you download the file, double click on it and just click few times next. And by the way, I have another video on how to run Android applications in Windows 10. In case you want to check it out, just click I icon on the right top corner, which will direct you to the video. So I'm assuming that you have Oracle Virtual Machine already installed and Android installation file in your hard drive. Then let's start uh, Virtual Machine. Hit new. Expert mode. Let's give it a name. You want to use Linux and this one. In here you are choosing how much memory your Android will be allowed to use. 2 gigabytes is enough. Let's create it. And before you start it, what you need to do is to go to settings and make sure that within system your pointing device is switched to mouse. Uh, because otherwise you won't be able to use your mouse pointer to control Android. Once this is done, hit OK. And let's start it. It is asking you to provide Android installation file. Use your arrow keys to choose options. Let's install Android. You need to choose create modify partitions. Uh, do not use GPT. New. Primary. Just hit enter. This way you created partition for your system. Now write uh, your changes. Type yes. And quit. Now you can choose your partition, hit enter, format it, yes. We want to have bootloader installed and skip this one. Yes, this should be readable. Ok, Android is successfully installed, um, you can either run it or reboot, um, I'm choosing here reboot. And here is the problem, the installation screen is again visible for you, so what you need to do is to just close um, the screen power of the machine, go back to the settings. And the reason why this installation screen is uh, up again is because in system we are still booting up from ISO file that we added. So it's either you can disable it here in boot options or completely remove that from your setup. The same thing. Once you did that, just hit start. And now the system is already starting from your virtual box setup. We are choosing first option. 
and our Android is starting. And okay, Android is already installed. Just simply uh, hit next here, skip this part. You can skip this part, you can add your Google account later. So skip, next. And there you go, your Android is ready to use. If you feel this is uh, too complicated for you, too much steps, uh, again I have a video how to use your Android apps and games within the system without installing actually Android in your system. You may want to try it out and there you go. If you'd like this video, please subscribe thumbs up, let me know in comments what you think and best of luck.